News 4 New York at 11 starts now. Thank you for joining us. I'm Adam Cooperstein. And I'm Jumi Olabanji. The Port Authority temporarily quarantined that plane while the passengers got checked out tonight. Now, that plane had just landed from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic at a time, of course, when our area is in the midst of a measles outbreak. News 4's Wale Ali is live at JFK with what we're learning about this scare. Wale. Yeah, Adam and Jumi, after being on a plane for four and a half hours, coming all the way from Santo Domingo to here at JFK, passengers had to wait a little bit longer before deplaning. And we thought might have an issue that was of concern, and uh, the Port Authority wanted to check it out before we entered a terminal with a whole bunch of people. It turns out that everything is just fine. You just heard crews on board the aircraft giving the all clear to the passengers on flight 410 after medics had to come on board and make sure no one on the flight had measles. Representatives from JetBlue told us they got reports of a medical emergency on board the flight and then requested to hold the plane for medical services out of an abundance of caution so a customer could be examined. The flight landed around 9 p.m., but it wasn't until about 40 minutes ago that we started seeing some of these passengers come out after going through customs. The passengers told me they didn't really know what was happening on the plane, but rumors were circulating that someone on board may have had measles. Port Authority got some sort of medic type guy to come on with a mask, and a policeman, probably Port Authority with a mask, looked at the kid, decided that it was probably mosquito bites, left everybody on the plane, said everything was fine. Now, we also spoke with a Passover program director. He told us he organized this trip for Orthodox families. He tells us JetBlue crew saw an Orthodox Jew with mosquito bites and unfairly profiled him as having measles. Now, with almost 700 cases in the U.S., there have been almost 400 cases of measles confirmed in New York since the outbreak began last October. The majority of cases are children under 18 years old in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and in Rockland County. Now, although there have been no deaths from the outbreak, there have been several complications, including couple dozen people hospitalized and at least six even in the ICU. For now, that is the very latest live at JFK Airport. Wale Aliyu, News for New York. Okay, glad it wasn't serious. Wale, thank you.